We've all been there. Someone did us wrong. Someone didn't pay for their photography. Someone screws you over. Someone says something about you that isn't true. What is the first thing that we want to do? We want everyone to know. Put it all out on the internet. You basically just want to put this person on blast so you can let everyone know what they did to you. I am no stranger to this. I've been screwed over many a time, okay? And it sucks, it really does suck. And you feel like you want some kind of vengeance. You need some way to get justice. But trust me when I tell you that posting about it online is not the way to go. It's not gonna bring you any type of solace and long time closure. It's just temporary relief that you feel. But in the long run, it's not gonna benefit you at all. So why shouldn't you put people on blast? They did you wrong, you deserve to put them on blast. Everybody should know. Now think about it from the outside in. If you are a client and you see a photographer's Facebook filled with angry posts like, oh, this client uh, is horrible and they didn't even pay and they came 20 minutes late and you know, I hope that their cake melts on the way there. Let's say this photographer has a lot of problematic statuses in which they are calling out clients or other people for doing certain things. Think about it. Do you want to be associated with that photographer? Would you want to work with them? Do they seem like they'd provide a great smooth experience? Probably the, the, the normal person would say no, but I mean, some people like the drama. First of all, there are two sides to every story and you're only hearing one side of the story. So that other person could be telling someone the exact opposite of what you are telling someone. It's one person's word against the other. Essentially, you are fighting online. If this person's well known, guess what? It's gonna be bad publicity for you if you're putting them on blast because people could care less about the client, honestly. I mean, you're the one who is having a business and trying to get clients and putting your name out there. That other person, I mean, they really, I mean, okay, yeah, people will be like, wow, what a jerk, but then what? That person's not trying to get freelance work, so they don't care, I guess. Who's gonna be more affected, the client or you? Very rarely things get resolved when put on the internet for everyone to see because then it just becomes everyone's drama. Everyone has an opinion. So instead of it being between just two people, it's between like 2,000 people. You really benefit nothing from posting something negative about someone else on the internet. I mean, sure, you'll feel good for like the first five, 10 minutes when it's online, you'll feel a sense of relief, like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. But then guess what? You wake up the next morning and you're gonna be like, wow, I sh probably shouldn't have done that. So what I'm telling you guys is just don't act on impulse. Don't act when you are emotional or really, really angry or upset. Just take a step back, go buy a Nintendo DS, go play some Harvest Moon, plant some crops, feed some cows, milk them, release some anger, punch your wall if you need to, kiss a baby, eat some chips, make a group chat with your friends and just talk about it in there. Be professional at all times, even when the other person isn't because this is your business at stake, this is your name and your reputation and people will know you by this. Drama scares off clients. If you really get down to it, people are going to think that if you are gonna post something negative and bad about someone on the internet then if they are to service you or work with you then you might just do the same thing to them and no one wants that no one wants to be involved with a problematic photographer at the end of the day they want no drama they want nice pictures and that's all that they want from you they don't want a Facebook post from you saying how horrible they are and that they're cheap there's just some stuff that goes on the internet like cat memes and there's just some stuff that doesn't go on the internet. If you are just having an issue, if you just want to rant to someone, text your friend, call up someone. Call me, Dan, I'll listen to you. All that negative energy is just going to slow you down, so it's not even worth it. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever felt that way or wanted to post something? Thank you guys for watching and steer clear of drama, if, if possible. I could have written like a sonnet for Shakespeare from all the pain that people have caused me. It's pretty ugly out there, so good luck.